Hello, I'm Dab Lion from Dabnode, and today I'm going to demo you the IPFS Pinner package. This package is a go-to solution to pin and replicate content across different nodes in a decentralized way. To start with, we're going to install the package. And first, we're going to complete the setup. And we're going to give this peer a human readable name so we can identify each, each one later. For those of you that don't know Dabnode, Dabnode is a solution to install easily and manage dApps, which are handled and fetched in a decentralized way. What's happening right now is that we are going to smart contract and fetching the latest version of this package and then downloading it through IPFS, which includes configuration files and an image. Everything is downloaded, run, and now we are ready to go. So this is the admin UI of the IPFS pinner, where you can pin different types of content. To start with, we're going to pin the Aragon package manager registry, which contains the main Dabnode package. You can do that by introducing the ANS name and then hitting add. Now it's going to go to the blockchain, try to resolve the ANS name, find the contract, and automatically find all the repos that has been released under this registry resolve the latest versions and pin them as can be seen here. So, so far so good, but it's not too much interesting. The fun part is when we start adding peers. So to do that, we go to the peers tab and first we're gonna generate a secret. This is necessary for the underlying IPFS cluster that uses leaf P2P and therefore a secret to communicate between them. We're gonna take this link and share it with a friend. So a friend just joined me, and now I'm going to copy this link and send it through the chat, which you must share with a, through a secure channel. Otherwise, you could give access to strangers to your node, as right now the structure is completely flat. So my friend is going to open the link, as we can see, and automatically the cluster will start joining with the secret and the bootstrap address provided. Now it has successfully set the variables and is trying to establish a connection and will be notified when that happens. Okay, so now both clusters have successfully joined and you can see here that both of them can see each other and have successfully connected. And we can see that the content right now, it should be replicated across both nodes. So now we have feedback that there are two clusters online and each one of the assets can be seen in detail and we can see that in both nodes are in pin status. So right now, my friend can add another item for example, instead of a registry, it can add a repo. And now we're going to try with an Aragon app. So we'll go for the finance app. And the same. You can just introduce the ENS name, hit add, and it should appear below. So you can see that you also have information about who has added what and at what time. And switching back to my view, we can see that the content should be there or it's about to, to be here. Okay, so we can see that this has been added by someone else. So lastly, we can also add a decentralized website just by providing its domain. And in this case, I'm gonna add the decentral.eth decentralized website. It has been quite successfully and it's starting to be pinned. And lastly, you can also add just regular hashes. And in this case, I'm gonna pin the files of the pinner packets that we're using right now. I'm gonna give it a label so we know later on what is this hash referring to. The same, it appears on sources and then it, it is immediately pinned. We can also go to sources and manage them. We can delete 
these hashes that I have been that I have added recently, also the web, and it will automatically be unpinned from both my peer and all other peers in the cluster. Okay, so thank you so much. We hope that this package may be useful for, uh, for you. If you have any doubt, don't hesitate on opening an issue or reaching us on the radio channel. Thank you so much.